Yo. What's going on, guys? Hey, y'all. We are back. Yeah. Drinks and Conversation. The podcast. We are live, and we are right in your studio. Live and direct. Live and direct. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her where we at. Hey. Live and direct. Boop. Ooh, it's oxytocin right now. Intro picks, and I'm always in the building. Drinks and conversation a podcast. So I know you always hear us say drinks and conversation, and you're probably wondering, are they drinking? Are we drinking? And I would say yes. Go ahead and tell the people what you're sipping on. Uh, I'm o- I'm a Long Island iced tea drinker, so I'm always on my Long Island. I got to I mean, stick to the... To the Long Islands that I'm used to. You gotta to. switch it up though. <laughs> okay, I'm a Long Island drinker. Monday, look, Tuesday, look. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And if there so was an eighth day, if there was an eighth day, I would be drinking Long Island too. On the eighth day. On All right, we, we, got, we got we got to make we, that happen. We gotta make that up. I feel like my drink is better. And you know what? I'm going to actually post the picture of my drink on okay. my, my, ooh, my Instagram, uh, my Facebook. Got a little mic trouble going on over That's there, right, though. That's all right, all though. That's all right, though. But I'm sipping on 100% apple juice. juice. I started early, so that's almost gone. 100% orange juice. I'm look, about halfway look, through a look. 10 ounce bottle okay. in my all time favorite drink. Izzy! Look, and I'm toasting. drinking a blackberry flavor toasting. right now. So, sparkling blackberry. Izzy, I Z Z E. Get you some at your. You can get it from Listen, Safeway. Tosin. Don't yes. nobody care about this juice you're drinking over here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be coming for my juice, man. <laughs> Don't I'm not about that Long Island life right now. No, don't nobody care about this non-alcoholic 2%, Do 4% Do not discriminate. Drink. You a hater. <laughs> you, you, last time we learned you were a stalker. So now we can just go ahead and add hater to your resume. I'm a Haitian. Okay? Call Haitian. it a Haitian. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, if you haven't had Izzy, get you some. It's that simple. I'm Izzy trying to tell you. Izzy what it's at. Listen. Stop hating. You got to have something with some substance, okay? You need something that's going to get you right and get you nice. That's what the apple juice and the orange juice is for. You see, I'm saving the Izzy for no, that. No. Halfway through that orange juice. Those are my Mm-mm. chases. So Mm-mm. when I hit the Izzy, <laughs> I, I didn't have nothing to say after that. But when I hit the Izzy, it's just going to get crazy. This is Drinks and Conversation. The podcast. So how and- was your weekend, though? Let me Ooh, did you. I cut you off just now? Nah, you didn't I don't care off. if I cut you off just now. <laughs> How was your weekend? Okay, somebody had a little bit too much to drink. <laughs> it's that orange juice, I'm trying to tell you. I don't need none of that. It's just life <laughs> that got me hot right now, man. No toast. What's up? I had a really good weekend this weekend. I'm glad to hear it. I worked my ass off this weekend. I see you looking a little <laughs> trim. Get it. Oh, was that the type of work you were talking about? No, that's not the work. Type Completely work. over my head. I apologize. I'm still at the same way. I don't oh, know. Okay. And get time to get to the gym. But you um, gotta make time. I gotta make time. You see, you I know. said we. I ain't putting me too. We gotta go. <laughs> hey, we gotta make time. Nah, but this weekend I actually had a really, really good time. Um, well, everybody knows I'm a celebrity photographer. I'm usually around the DMV, and um. This weekend, I got a chance to interview some survivors of domestic violence. So, you know, that was impactful for me because I'm like, you know, just getting into the mindset of how they think and what they've been through. You know, women women are strong out here, you know, you know, so big ups to them. It was a good friend of mine, Natasha Brown. Hey, Natasha. And she had a great, great event going on with some of her her team and stuff like that so you know i dove right in i was just asking all the questions and stuff like that so we're gonna try to get one of them on the show oh we that would have, be great i'd we gotta definitely have love some, to talk to one of them we gotta have some insight on that 
Yeah, and, it's, 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 a, it's a big issue. I think domestic yeah. violence, I like the fact that we're paying attention to it and everyone's addressing it and they know that's that true. it's an issue and they're educating, especially young people on it too, because it, there was a point where it's getting out of hand, but I think we're reaching that point where it's shifting and everyone's aware of it and hopefully it gets better and we and have I, less and less and less. I think men need it too, because men need to know really, even, even if you don't, you know, I'm against everything like that but just getting into the the things that of how women feel you know what i'm saying and how they get caught up in that lifestyle i think it's just an eye opener just for me and just even if i come in contact with other men just to you know point them if i see signs like that to just point them like listen that's not that's no good and but then I also to help them recognize when sometimes the man is the victim and that's another thing that's where true. you know it's kind of for men it's harder for them i think yeah. to speak about it when the roles are reversed because there are that's some true. women aggressors out there so yes. you know regardless of your situation you should not be physically abused you know what yeah. i mean and you shouldn't feel afraid to speak up about it or seek help that's true and I've been in situations like that. I mean, with an ex of mine, you know, where it's the reverse kind of. It, she put it, her hands on you. I Hold mean, me back. Listen, <laughs> it ain't get there. But, I'm, you know, it can start with playful playing. Yeah. It can start with, you know, let me just, you know, just play with you and this and that. You got to have boundaries, though. Yeah. Boundaries what, are so important. And that's exactly what I what I said and I laid down because I said, listen, you don't, I don't want to react mm. off of you playing yeah. than me react in a negative kind of way. Yeah. So I had to cut that, like, right off. I'm but, glad you did because then yeah. I'm going to have to read deep, deep, deep yeah. down in my <laughs> pocket, get the bail money yeah. to get my homie out over something that shouldn't have been happening. But she long, anyway. she long and gone. She Bye long boo. and gone. That was like 2000, well, 1999. 1999? Got to ask, got to subtract. 99 nine yeah, in the two. So it was the 99 <laughs> in the 2000. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But that was good. Yeah. And then um, Sunday, let's see, I, I did the, the Power um, Brunch DC. And um, that was always fun. And it had a list of entrepreneurs that was up there giving some, dropping some knowledge and some nuggets to the people. And they ate nuggets. some good food. So that was good. And um, I did the, the red carpet. I, I photographed mm. the red carpet and did the step and repeat That's and everything like that. That's what I'm like talking that. about. Yeah. Business and pleasure. Business. business. Handling you know, that business and getting business. in that pleasure. <laughs> That's what I'm, That's and good. getting some good food. That sounds like a okay. fun weekend. <laughs> yeah, so I was good. really busy. What about you? Man, tell I'm me. kind of embarrassed to share. Well, oh, Lord. Wow. No, but let me tell you why it's so important. I feel I'm a good person, but let me tell you why it's so important to be a good person. Okay. Mind you, you already know my 2016 goal was to be more knowledgeable about cars. And I'm like, I'm going to learn how to change my tire. Oh, I'm going to learn Lord. how to check my gauges. Okay. So I go to Papa John to go uh -huh. pick up some pizza. And mind you, my car felt wobbly. But you know me, <laughs> I got my music, but I'm like, oh, it's nothing. I'm driving in a wobbly car, wobbly car, and I get okay. out of the car, and the girl's like, oh, excuse me, what tire flat? I said, oh, my God, I know. Thank you so much for telling me, but I didn't even know. Okay. So then I got back, and I was like, oh. It was, like, all the way flat, like, literally a little now, bit of tire for the rim. don't you have AAA? You know what? I do, but I wasn't thinking about that. It was see, raining, and I was just trying to see. I thought maybe I just needed air in my tire. See, people who don't have AAA, they don't never think about AAA I until they and have I to need AAA. And I know I have it, but I didn't think about it. But <laughs> So back to my story. Go ahead. So I'm driving, right, and I roll my window down because people starting to beat me at this point. And you know what? You people were being hella <laughs> rude. Don't beat me. But anyway, they were beating me like crazy. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, my tires. I'm trying to wave them to go around. And then as this man is walking by, he's like, baby, your tire flat. I said, I know. I'm trying to make it to the station. And he was like, oh, girl. He's like, you're not going to make it, baby. I help you. I said, you said you got a spare tire? I said, yes, I do. He said, all right, pull over. Tell me. Move. No, he was actually like, you know, he was an older man, probably got a wife. He said he was yeah. eating his mm -hmm. for lunch. 
That's no, he was he was really nice. He didn't have to do that for me. We trying to get you he a man in 2016. No. All right, no. so he had on gray sweatpants. Breaking down when a tie is a good no, way. No, he so. was a nice person. Why can't people do just nice things for people? No, people can't. No, he like literally changed my tire, did all that. He had on gray sweatpants. I mean, his knees was wet. And I just want to say thank you, sir, because that was just, nah, I was stuck. I, I was stranded. Nah, I thought this, the whole meaning of the story was that you was going to learn how to change your own tire. It was raining I and I didn't have time for that. It's still on a bucket list and it will be tackled. <laughs> I just want people to know it's so what important to be learn? a good person. Because <laughs> What did you learn? I learned that God is good and he sent that man to me in my time of need. Let me tell you, you got to count oh, those little blessings. Okay. You got to count those did little blessings. Did you get his number? Won't he do it? Yes, he will. <laughs> Won't he do it? Yes, he will. My God. Yes. No, but that was just, I just God felt so, cool. I told him, I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. I really, like, I really, that was a sincere thank you. And he was like, it's all right, baby. Don't worry about it. Don't get on about you. Like, I would have done the same was, thing. I would have really? done the same thing, maybe. Really? You would have, I think I you would have been like, Sometimes. all right, you get that right there. <laughs> Move that right there. You would have made her change her own tire, but told look, her what to do. <laughs> look, people be mad at me because just like a week ago, my tire went flat, right? I'm driving. My tire went flat. And I actually called, you know, AAA. Yeah. To come and come and they was like, what you calling me for? You can't do it. I know. They was like, <laughs> my cousin was like, listen, you can't change your own tire. Who's getting out changing my own tire when I pay for a service to come out? Yeah, listen, but it They did time. it in like 30 minutes. It takes I, time for them to get. How long did it take them to get to you? What was the total time? Like 30 minutes. 30 minutes for okay. you to call, for them to come, for listen, them to change Let me tell you it. something. I got a bald head, and it was freezing outside. He has a bald head, and he's a <laughs> ball player. I just want to. That was my love and basketball quote. Came out of nowhere. Forgive me. Go ahead. <laughs> so, listen. I know how to change a tire. Damn. Trust me. In survival instinct, I'm down there. But here it go. This is what I paid for. So, therefore, I'm going to get my money's worth. That's all business. Okay. And I will sit there and wait and talk on the phone and be in my heat and do whatever I got to do until the people come and change my tire. That's it. I'm accustomed. Okay. So, well. I'm accustomed to a certain life that, so, or at least I <laughs> pretend to be. Well, that was a highlight of my weekend. Just having someone else just didn't even, they didn't have to help me. He didn't have to do that. And he did that. He was the highlight of my weekend. That could have been um, your future husband. It could not have, no, 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 no. He could not have been my future husband. He was just See. a genuinely nice person. Two nice That's what I was talking vibe, about in was the last great. podcast. No. See? But he anyway. This opportunity. Okay. On to the next. My weekend was great. <laughs> and let's talk about the Oscars. Hey, I don't know. The Oscars was a little dry. I didn't watch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't watch either. Oh, my goodness. No, but I did watch the GOAT Awards on Black and Sexy TV. What is the GOAT Awards? Greatest of all time. They did it like a battle or a debate with, like, of the best African American movies and soundtracks wow. to movies. And they okay. debated their causes. Like, for example, what movie would you choose between The Color Purple and The Five Heartbeats? Oh, the five hobbies. That's oh, what the, I chose. Let it rain. But it was so let hard, it though. It was so hard. And then they did, yeah. then they did Love and Basketball and okay. Love Jones. Love <laughs> Jones. Tell me that's not hard. Love Jones. No, I Love and Basketball. Love Jones. I know Nike made dresses. What are you talking about? <laughs> love and Basketball. <laughs> You put your heart. I was never, I was never a loving basketball fan. Well, you need to get hip. I get never. you the DVD. It ain't too late. I seen it a couple of times. I'm tired of seeing it. Whatever. <laughs> Love and basketball is one of the greatest movies of all time. See? Yes. Mm -mm. Give respect mm -mm. to whoever's now. Love is Jones, Duke young blood. What about a thin line between love and hate? That was good, but that one wasn't nominated in the category. Because I seen the girl um, over this weekend look just like what's the girl who Blair Underwood? I'm gonna need you to know these girls' names, okay? Is that Blair? I'm gonna need you to know who they be. <laughs> but who was you trying to describe? I'm sorry. Uh, sorry if I get it wrong, but I think it was Blair Underwood. I think that's her name. And um, Blair Underwood is an African American male. Blair Underwood. Oh, see. <laughs> oh, shit. Let me, let me 
<laughs> you on your Oprah and Whoopi Goldberg mess. I know, right? You work for Total. <laughs> he, he needs to oh, be yeah, at Total yeah, Beauty. That is, um, yes. I know who that yes. is. Okay, Where is mine? Where right, is daddy mine? drinks and conversation, all right? Mine. Sometimes yes, the he had a, get the best That's thing. that Long Island getting to him. He don't know who <laughs> Oprah or Whoopi Goldberg okay. is. Well, the girl who played in um, A Thin Line Between Love and Hate, over the weekend. Lynn Whitfield. Uh-huh. Lynn Whit- okay. There was a girl that looked just like her. I swear. You know how you always run into people that look like people. Did you have a few Long Island iced teas or were you on your sober mm-hmm. tip? No, she really looked like she her. She really did. She did. She, re- she really did. She had oh. the whole. You know what? You probably was everything. dreaming. You should have hit a Cat Williams and walked over to her and punched her punched in the face. Punched her in the face, right? <laughs> and then you would have known who she really do. was. That's exercise. Yeah, I just walk to <laughs> boom, punch you in the face. Cat Williams boom, always punch punches you somebody in the damn face. So why face. is it that the little people, I shouldn't even say little people, honestly, because I'm only 5'2". Shout out to that short guy. Hey, hey. <laughs> but no, really, short people, myself included, at times, um, we can be really, really angry. And we feel like we, we just get like an extra angry because Because y'all don't have enough height? Yeah, uh, it's mm-hmm. like it's like a, just a, a short, angry energy that just comes up and it's just like that oh, you can't on reach. top of the oh, that you can't that reach. Sense. Yeah, <laughs> that that you can. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Just chill and stay down. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I be trying to chill, because if I get to that short angry, ooh, it's bad. It's going to be crazy. Y'all don't want to see that short angry. Well, so let's talk about the Oscars this weekend, because, you okay. know, Chris no, I didn't Rock watch hosted. It. Even though we didn't watch it, but I, I know we heard about it. You can catch everything that you missed on Facebook. I tell you that much. And World Star. <laughs> World Star. Okay, so Chris Rock, Chris Rock opened... Uh, well, he hosted and he opened the Oscars. I don't know if you've seen his monologue. I did, did not. You? Okay. Well, my opinion of his monologue, I feel like Chris missed his moment in a sense. I thought the monologue was okay. A lot of people thought that it was very disrespectful. He mm-hmm. talked about, you know, lynching and um, your grandmother hanging from a tree. And he okay, did up, he make it a joke, though, or did he just He did make it, it a joke, but the joke wasn't really funny like that though he's like not really funny like that, yeah he, he was but he's not at this moment he's not really funny like that, yeah though. it's a difference when you can make a joke as serious and turn it into literally something funny and yeah. it'd be funny but he failed know? yeah Epic I, I would say he failed you okay. know and with the oscars and everybody kind of boycotting the oscars and i mean he took a shot at jada pinkett and the smiths and things like that but um i just feel like with his monologue it could have really been epic like i really feel like he could have really made a statement you know he could have took his comedic approach but still made a statement and i just feel he didn't do that so you feel as though chris rock dropped the ball i feel like he dropped the ball i feel like he dropped the ball i think you know if it was if it if he really held it and ran with it it would have been nothing but positive views and positive reactions to at least spark a change and i don't think it did i think it was a big cooning fest and it didn't make it any better that you know we had stacy dash i heard she came out i heard she came out i got i honestly i was really we gotta touch baby back but it's a bit based on that because I didn't get a chance to see it because I was watching the Go Awards <laughs> on Black and Sexy TV, Before baby. Black people, I know it's Black right. and Sexy, baby. But yeah, I was watching that, so I didn't get a chance to see the Oscars. I honestly wasn't even on the whole boycott Oscars tip because I generally don't watch the Oscars. Me either. So it was neither here nor there to me. I was, ah, okay. I mean, I, we, I, 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 let's I don't, not watch. Oh, I ain't been watching, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> they say this was the lowest ratings, you it's know. It's getting, a, but the, it gets lower and lower every year. Last year was the lowest. Okay. This year's even lower, and next year is probably going to be but even I, lower. You won't even be watching the Oscars. Yeah, Did but you watch? I keep up with my current events, Okay, you know all right, all like, right. Okay, yeah. I'll know more about something <laughs> than actually like watch something through and get it from there. That well, makes I, sense. I digress. 
I just feel like, you know, as as racial as they think the Oscars were, mm-hmm. you know, to have a black host mm-hmm. and to host the Oscars, I just feel like it could have been more of making fun of black people and racism to more of showing, like, listen, we do it just as good, you know? Include us, you know? I understand, you know, but I think he you did have say an old academy. About that, though. I saw a little clip, mind you. I gave him a little. I mean, he did. Don't get me wrong. He touched on it, but overall, you know, people don't remember one or two lines. They remember overall, you know, how I felt. The big picture. White people was, I'm sure white people was uncomfortable, and I'm sure black people was uncomfortable. Let me tell I wasn't even in the room. And from what you told me, I'm a little like, oh, I know that probably was uncomfortable. So, I mean, I think he tried. I hope he tried. Do you think that he wasn't next allowed year? to do as good as he can do? Do you think there was... Next year, we need Kevin Hart. <laughs> K-Hart. I know he said something about... He said, you know, people were um, people wanted him to quit. And he was like, well, no, why... No, can't miss that paycheck. Yeah. He said, unemployment people always want people to quit. <laughs> but here's the thing. <laughs> no, but even I was saying, I was capping for him when I heard they were like, he shouldn't host. I said, first of all, this man is hired to do a job. That's so, true. So, and just like regular folks, you got to go to your job. You got to clock in regardless of what's going on. So, if he accepted the job, he needs to fulfill it. So, I was already for, if you booked it, do the job. I'm not saying he shouldn't have done his job. No, of I'm course. saying I was for him doing it. That's what I'm saying from John. I think he should have done it. And I guess there was no real right way to go about doing it. But I feel like this was a moment. You know how you have those moments, the moments where you can just take that opportunity yeah, and pinnacle. go? Like, mm-hmm. this was a moment to really be behind your people and actually bring it to the platform. But he didn't do platform. it. He the moment's I mean, gone. I mean, well. It's over. It Milk is. spilled. But it was. It should have been a great moment. Eggs so. boiled. Water done. No, I don't it should have been a great sense. moment. Okay. Chris Rock. Julian's really upset at you, Chris <laughs> Rock. You need to take him out to lunch, buy him flowers, and. <laughs> buy uh, me a Lamborghini or something. Shit. I want a flowers. Oh, you do good for flowers. Uh-huh. You too good for flowers. Yeah, I'm too good. I don't fuck no flowers. I like <laughs> Forget flowers. the flowers. I'm too type of way right now. Flowers are good. No, but, but I, I thought Lady Gaga looked great. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did because you know what, Lady what? Gaga was surprised your ass. No, 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 no. Why you say it like that? I didn't say anything. What? You said you thought Lady Gaga looked good. I laughed. You said, no, she does. Like, you scolded me just now. I no, I'm saying she did. You know. I don't know. I, like I, Lady just, Gaga. I just well, remember Lady Gaga from the Grammys. Like, when you said Lady Gaga looked good, it just, her Grammys look popped into my head. And I was like, Ever oh. since she been on American, I'm an American Horror Story fan. So, ever since she been on American Horror Story, I've been sold into Lady Gaga. So, Lady whenever Gaga. she show up and she looking like human, I'm good. I, you love her I, I love poker Lady, face. I love Lady Gaga. And um, I thought um, I was surprised that Whoopi Goldberg, they was mistaking her for Oprah. Yeah. I, <laughs> that now, still make me laugh. I don't know how you could do that because Whoopi Goldberg ain't got no eyebrows. I know how you can do that. You just don't care. You think all African-American people look alike. That's how you do it. And then they went on to apologize to Oprah and Whoopi. And after they apologized, they went on to do a donation of 10K to each of their charities. Like, come on, really? You just want to throw money? I think it's a common mistake, mistake, though. I mean, black people. That's not a common mistake. No, hold on. No, but black people get upset when we get mistaken for the same people. But then we also mistake people too for the same people sometimes okay as well. but mistaking Whoopi Goldberg for Oprah is that's like because we know the difference between the two okay that's like mistaking I mean she was on her Selena Oprah. Gomez for Sofia Vergara we know the difference no she was on her Oprah shit that night if you think so <laughs> maybe she was trying to be on her Oprah I mean she was I, Maybe, I, I don't know. She done got a flat iron no and excuse. did it up. Do you, you know, know who she, Oprah is? She done come too far uh-uh, and done work see. too hard for you to think you're not going to know who she is. <laughs> Everybody know Oprah. And if you don't know Oprah, Look. you're supposed to know Oprah. 
they just mistake Karuchi for Janae Aiko just okay, the other day. That's, you know what? That's acceptable. I wouldn't no, be mad. How that's is that acceptable? acceptable? That's okay. Because what? Oh, they both make no, Asian. No, it's not even black, that. It's not even that. Do you know kinda? how many years Oprah has put in the game? You better know Man, this lady. Not yeah. everybody around the world know Oprah. Majority of people do. That's oh. the point. And 99% if you're in this of the USA, population. If you're on Twitter, if you're supposed to be a beauty line, you're supposed to know who Oprah is. Listen, don't everybody know who Oprah is? Everybody's right. supposed to know who Oprah is, especially okay. if you're on American soil, especially if you call yourself being in a beauty game. You're giving Oprah too much credit. She oh, is no, the no. queen Oprah. in no, our no, no. world. I'm not giving Oprah anything. Oprah has earned everything. Some people don't know who Jay-Z is. Okay, no, but a lot of mean? people know who Jay. I like Jay Z. Oh, a lot of people know who Jay Z is, but I'm just talking about you should right. not mix up Whoopi Goldberg and Oprah. And this, and then oh, Whoopi Goldberg's on the View, like total okay, beauty. Okay, so what, don't what, discount what? Whoopi. Don't I'm you not discounting discount Whoopi. Whoopi. Whoopi is a legend in this game. Okay, so there you go. They shouldn't be mixing her up with anybody. So basically, we agree. And Thank our you. Thank Tosin, you. And we our agree. Community. You know what? I'm over here. But that's here. not everywhere. Not a lot of people don't know a lot of people. Okay, well, who's sitting cr across from me? What's your name? I'm sorry. My name is Intro Pit. Really? Yeah. I thought, I, I, I thought he was somebody else. Oh, no, you else. don't know me? Oh, I thought you was somebody cool. else. You can mistake me for somebody. Who I look like? Jeezy? Who? <laughs> who I look like? Whatever. Anyway. Boris? Who? Which one? <laughs> Boris Which one Boris <laughs> <laughs> Which one you want to pick? <laughs> I don't give a damn. Oh, hell. You know what? Thank you. I really need to. You know when you laugh from your diaphragm, like from the bottom of your stomach. I needed that. Woo! The Oscars was boring as usual. I ain't watching no We ain't miss shit. I'm sure y'all guys out there ain't miss shit. Nope. But um, I was... The only reason why I did even take a little clip from it is because of Chris Rock. I wanted to see what he was going to do, what he was going to say, and if he was going to represent us good, you know? And, Oscars uh, is like that friend y'all you beef with, and you like, I ain't never being cool with them again. And they trying to be cool with you. They're reaching out to you. they calling you. Oh, let's do brunch. Let's do lunch. How are you? But you don't return the phone calls, and you don't return the text. Like, you're just done with that friendship. That's the Oscars. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'd rather I'd rather be on my Love and Hip Hop reunion show. And than, I'd um, rather not. <laughs> don't hate on Love and Hip Hop. I uh, know oh, I'm not. Don't hate on Mo um, Mona Scott Young. What is Young. Love and Hip Hop? Right, everybody don't know everything. What's Love and Hip Hop? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tell you what Love and Hip Hop is. It's all right. Is. I know what it is. I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> it's a soap opera. <laughs> oh, okay. Scripted television. Uh, and you know what? What is today? today? It's a leap year. It is a leap year. And oh. it's the last day of Black History Month. That is Mind. true. What? Yes. But that's why we always celebrate Black History. It we don't do. Be every day. I celebrate Black History every time I wake up and look in the mirror. Well, let me ask you this. If you were born on a leap year, right? Let's say you're born today. My little cousin actually was born today. Okay, so do you on a on a regular year? Do you take the the 29th? I mean the 28th, or do you take May May first? It fluctuates. March first. It fluctuates. Sometimes it may be the 28th. Sometimes it may be the first. But for sure, that man gets a happy birthday, uh, of heartfelt roar oh. on the 29th. He's like five years old. <laughs> I know it's funny to say Happy that. Happy <laughs> birthday, study! But do you yeah. get a choice? In I what? mean, like, how does it work? I mean, because we know that we don't have 20, 29 days in February until every four years. But, yeah. I mean, you're saying it sometimes. But yeah, you pick and you choose. Get to pick yeah. On whatever your birthday is? No, you can. All, he can only go with the 28th, the last day of February, or the first day of March. And That's when it. do you decide that? Who decides that? Um, I, I figure you can't go wrong with either day. I'm not sure either which day, day he prefers. Day. It yeah, can be both day. days. Hey, maybe I don't remember <laughs> on the 28th. I got another chance. I remember on the first. <laughs> Whichever day. I mean, he's the one celebrating his birthday. So I guess maybe if um, the 28th is a Saturday and the first is a Sunday, he'll say, oh, I'll do the 28th this year. Or maybe if the 28th is a Friday and then Saturday is the first, he's like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and do that on Saturday this year. He got choices, man. We don't got those oh, choices. Sure. That's a luxury. He's I lucky. Guess you, I guess you could really decide he's any day to be He's five years old a... and grown out here. 
That's true. I guess you could decide any day to really be your birthday. Yeah. And the only people that really know is your Man, parents. Man, shout out to my little cousin. He's doing more than any five-year-old ever. <laughs> Looking like a damn snitch at motherfucking <laughs> 20, 28 years old. <laughs> <laughs> No, but for real, for real. If you want to alleviate, that means you're lucky, though, to tell you the truth. Why does it mean? Why does it mean you're lucky? I mean, I'm not born a leap year, so that's not. What I'm well, then you ain't lucky. I am lucky. Not, I'm lucky not to be this me. year. Well, my birthday's in Don't March. Try- Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to be 42. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say 42. Damn, toes. I know. Like, Age don't a nigga. I know. I eggs know. all dried up. <laughs> <laughs> Mini balls. No coming back. <laughs> Literally. For real. No, but one thing. Okay. Okay. Do you think good friendships are worth fighting for? Seriously. I, do you think let me so? tell you. I am a person that likes to keep my friendships. Like I do. Like anytime something go wrong or something like that, I'm always, especially if it's a good friendship, I'm always trying. I'll be the first to say, you know what? I'm sorry. Let's move forward. Let's go. You know, mm-hmm. like let's get back on that same page. Good friends are worth fighting for. But is it ever really the same? Once that friend, once you, you know, go through that, whatever broke you guys up, you get back together, you're trying to make the friendship work. Do you, have you, well, let me ask you. In, have you ever gotten back to what it once was with a friend? I know people in relationships do it all the time. They cheat, get back together, been in love, like nothing ever happened. But when it comes to like a friendship, because you're not, there's no real reason sometimes to stay attached to that. So. I do. Sometimes it can make your, your friendship stronger uh-huh. because you know that person a okay. little bit more. You know what not to do. You know what buttons to push. And you know what you know which ways not to go. So sometimes it can make your relationship stronger. Now will it go back to the way it was before? Yes. Not all the time. And that's cool. Sometimes you don't need it to go back to the way it was before. But the point of the matter is is that you still hold on to that relationship because you like that person. You know what I'm saying? You like just being around them. You like, you know, just having that company. But it don't work all the time. you connect with certain people. And you connect it's with like certain people. It's like maybe you and that person have like a real connection. Like everybody was like, damn, y'all yeah. were homies. Y'all were cool. Like, And sometimes it, it go back. Like, like you go back left. like like it never left. Like it it never don't left. matter what you done been through. It go back like it never left. I'm going to tell you, there was a friend of mine's, um, we done been through a couple different arguments because yeah. I was mad. Like, you didn't come to my event. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm like. You like a sister to me. Yeah. You supposed to be here. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh, loving basketball <laughs> when he was mad at Monica. You forgot to be there. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you how great the movie is. Go ahead. Just to me, <laughs> physical, you being there physically means a lot. You know, so I, I was mad for a while. Wow. You know, I stopped talking to this person for probably about two years. Damn. And I could hold a grudge like nobody's business. But eventually I said, you know what? This is my friend. And guess what? She ain't missed an event since. Ah, uh, she so, learned. You know That's what? good. You know what? Some, sometimes you got to do it, mm-hmm. you know? So, and I think our relationship has grown better, you yeah. know? Yeah, that's, that's They let you know what's important to you. Who do you think is more able between the sexes to mend their relationship as far as just friendships when it's broken? Two guys or two girls? Two women or two men? I would say two guys, to be honest. I think so, too. I think, man, when women so go too. at it, they won't talk for two years. Yeah. but Because with guys, stuff. some stuff ain't as serious. But with women, some stuff ain't as serious, too. I know but women. But it be serious. No. It be, no, 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 no. Sometimes they'll be like, they will both, both women will both know the situation was so petty, but it's that pride. Neither one of them will call the other person and say, oh, you know what? Let's work this out. Let's mend this out. No, it's that it's pride. It's catty. It ca- cattiness. It's very yep. catty. Yep. You know what? So when we post this podcast, we want to drop a question in the comment section. Okay. We want to know, one, have you ever lost a relationship with a friend? And was what was it? Was it over something big or what was it over something small? And did you guys become friends again or was it done after that? I really want to know what can. You know, I've lost a couple friendships. It's some friendships 
that you don't want to hold on to. That you're not supposed to hold on and to. And that you're not supposed, supposed to. to. Not everyone's supposed to be in your life. That's and if true. they are supposed to be in your life, maybe they're just supposed to be for a season. A That's season, true. I'm sorry. I can't speak English. A season. And you have to have that discernment to know, okay, you know what? Me and this person, we were cool, but this person is not meant to go A, B, and C. They're not meant to go all these true. places with me. Let me tell you, I've, I've known some, I've known childhood friends. I mean, childhood friends that I have known since I was probably five. You know, and they're not currently in my life. It's not that I don't, I have beef with them. It's not that I don't care for them, but we just, grown apart. you just grow apart. Yeah. So some people, it, and it used to boggle me because I'm like, we known each other for so long. Why are we so separated? I've known you more than anybody in my life as far as friendship wise. Yeah. So sometimes. You just grow apart, and sometimes you got to go separate ways. And it sometimes, go though, you do need to try to reach out and call and say, you know what, I'm sorry. You know what, I miss you. I, you know, like, let's try to make this work or let's That's try true. to change it. It could be all of those things, but hey, you never know. I've been through it all. I lost a friend that I care nothing about and don't want anything to do with. I lost a friend where we're trying to work it out and we're getting back. So, you know, I've been in both shoes. Mm -hmm. um, and the friend that I'm trying to get back with, you know, it was so, let me tell you, uh, hella petty. Mm -hmm. Petty 2.0. Stupid situation. <laughs> but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You, you live and you learn, you petty grow, mom. you go, whatever. But I just, that's just something that's been on my heart. So please let me know, you know, what broke you and your friend apart? And do you think you can call him and just say, I'm sorry? Let's work it out. You know, or is it dead? But see, you know, another thing is that I don't I don't want to be friends with somebody that don't want to be friends with me. It like, has to be mutual. Of it has, course. To, be it mutual. has to be mutual. Because you know now, what? If you call them and be like, you know what? I'm, what the f you calling me? Uh, then you know that, you know, maybe this wasn't the best situation. Yeah. But, you know, if you I call them and they open and they're uh, receptive to you, like when you call them, like, wow, you know, so sometimes you'll get a I've been thinking about you. I miss you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. I'm happy you called me. I wish I would have called you sooner. It just, it just depends, you know. I can't be friends with this people man that don't want to be. The bottle of Long Island is literally <laughs> Listen, almost don't, gone. Don't you be broadcasting my business. You know what? On, on Let me it. tell you what this man just did. <laughs> he poured almost everything into the cup, but saved a little, okay. a little schmoozy and at the bottom. Why do people do that? That's irritating. That's for my homies that's not here. If you don't pour that in your cup and stop playing with me, I, do you know I literally despise and hate when people pour okay, it? Okay, okay. If you insist, I will pour the rest Guys, in the I cup. hate that. Listen, you, you ain't even crack your little piece of juice. Oh, I need a napkin. This is gonna, I got it. I got it. Oh, I'm strong. Oh, you're not no pro out here. I drink it. Drink. I've been drinking this whole time, sipping on this apple juice. Now I'm on juice. to the Izzy, the uh, fine lower. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. That drink. Izzy is good. Look. look. Y'all need to get you some. Go to Safeway and get you some Safeway. Izzy sparkling They don't sell liquor. <laughs> <Safeway. laughs> this is not liquor. My goodness. You see, when you got a friend who's always trying to get you drunk, you got to remember that. Uh-uh. I just want to drink. I don't want to get drunk. This is not drunk in conversation. We didn't this is say that. Drinking we said this is drinks in conversation. And I'm drinking. Okay. But you keep coming for my drink. No, because that ain't no drink. Toast. It is. It Listen, is. Listen, toast. That's not no drink. That Says who? is juice. That's who. And they lied to you. Who on the, made on you the, the ruler of, of what's a drink and what's because not? Because I be drinking. Let me tell you. Hey. That's why your drink gone. So we need to wrap this. We need to get to the wrap this up. But no, we gotta talk about. Drinks and conversations. Drinks and conversations. It's going Day down. Three. Adam Morgan. Why can I say Adam? Adam Morgan on April 30th. Yep. Please come out. Positive vibes and just have a good time with us. And be ready to talk. Don't be shy. We got questions for y'all. We want to know what's on your mind. So open up. You know what I love about our events? What that do you we love? Do? <laughs> Tell me what you love. What do you love? I just love that the fact that everybody has difference of opinion oh yeah i learned so much yeah it's like when people when people come out and they come to our events and um and we hit them with these questions it's like it's just it's magnetic because it's like you can't help but to put in your opinion on what we talking about and we try to make sure that everybody speaks 
So if you shy, we're going to come to you. We're going to make sure you get a chance because it's always that person who has something to say, but maybe they're not the first person to raise their hand, or maybe they just feel like... It be so many people that tell me, I'm not talking. Don't put the mic and in my face. And when they get in the building, <laughs> they can't even close their mouth. They can't even, close they can't mouth. even shut like, up. I got something to say. Uh-uh, I want to go again. No, you remember the young the girl who raised her hand? I said, my gosh, I feel like a teacher. <laughs> put your hand down. I'm coming to you now. <laughs> no, she raised her hand like five times. She was like, you can't answer <laughs> every, every question. single question. <laughs> Give somebody else a chance. Yes. Let somebody else talk. We trying to hear from everybody because you know what? Everybody has something to share. You don't know what you may have to say could bless the next person. Let me tell you. You never know. And you know, there was a lot of women that that got some good advice, especially at our last drinks and conversation, love and relationships, that I really think helped them. Yeah. Like, for real. I think the brothers was helped too, though. I think everybody, there was a takeaway for everyone in the room. And that's the most important part. So yeah. come out and join us April 30th, Adams Morgan, Johnny Pistolas. I mean, it's going to be a great event. And we rented out the whole bar. So y'all come and just come down. Just it, Bring it, a it, friend. It, it bring a friend. Or two. Or three. Well, you bring three because this is going to be our third drinks yes, and everybody <laughs> bring three friends. <laughs> So we we going to have fun. And that's yeah. what I like. Because sometimes, you know, you don't have events where you just have fun and people, people are People don't talk engaging. to people anymore. People, people look don't. down at their phones. And that's they what don't. we're missing and what we really want to bring back is just social interaction. Yeah. Like, I want to know what's on your mind. I want to see your eyes. Like, talk to me. Oh, you know what? One point for you. I was on my love, Jones, right I'm there. About to say, okay. <laughs> I'm about to yeah. say you want to see my eyes. All right. Let me, let me you got your little eye. You got little eye action eyes. on the side. Oh, but you bald-headed. But you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. But, man, thank all of you for tuning in to Drinks and Conversations, the podcast. Yes, this is our second episode. He too. Hey. And you know what? I'm excited. I'm folks. excited. I'm glad that we I'm are glad. here. Me too. I'm glad that we are just talking with our people out there. And we making it happen. We you know? Tr- yes, absolutely. Ain't nothing to it, but they do it. Hey, listen, and we're going to get it done. You we know? Are. We are. We have to. That's all I got we to say. We have to. So, we're going to end this right here. And make sure y'all tune in with us. Yeah. Each and every episode. I got to say one more thing. Before oh, we let y'all go, go, there's a hot showcase going down. Revival DC is putting together one of the top shows in the DMV for up and coming artists, act, everything, com- comedians, everything. It's going to be March 6th, and I'm going to be in the building. I'm going to be interviewing people, taking pictures, covering the event. You so you better definitely go come ahead, down Toast. there. And be there. Oxytocin is in the building. Ahead. Revival DC. Shout out to Orville, the poet. I'm looking forward to talking to him. That If I get to speak with him for a little while, that would be the highlight of my day. So I Revival know, DC, right. one of the top showcases in the Well, DMV. tell him to come on the show. Oh, tell I, I guess I'm going to have to. I'm, I'm going to put this podcast up, cast up when we do it at him so he know it's real tell and then i want to he, he, he's dope he's dope shout out we, to Orville we got some the stuff we got to talk about we do all right? we do we got a lot of stuff we got to talk about tell we him do. to come on the show i have will a, have a couple drinks we needed somebody else here that can drink <laughs> you know what you coming me, for me okay? once, once again need, and i, I need, ain't I need having to get it somebody on on Woo! this level all right Definitely excited for this episode, too. Y'all got to stay tuned in. It's going to be going down. Yes. It's always going down. When you got intro picks in the building, Let it's go. always going down. When you got oxytocin in the studio, then you know it's real. When you got intro picks and oxytocin, whoo, that's fire. Hey, so we out of here, y'all. Bye. Make Drinks sure y'all subscribe. Drinks and conversations. Drinks and conversations. Let go. Hey.